Well, Jim, I mean, I think the first thing I can say is that felt like a proper cup tie tonight. Before we come on to the game, after the game, you know, what what was the mood of the players after the game? Obviously, disappointed to lose, but yeah, uh, disappointed. Obviously, I'm very tired in there, but uh, we, we like that after after every game. Um, like I just said then, I think we gave a good account of ourselves um, as a club and um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things, good luck to Oxford and we'll go back into the league and do what we've done tonight with some improvements. And I'm sure, I'm sure there are technical things that I wasn't aware of but it just felt like we approached this game very similar to the, what we would in National League, looking yeah. to be on the front foot, put them under pressure. Yes, yeah, I mean, if you if you come into these games and sit off and get beat anyway, it's you, you come off feeling even worse, and then you stop your momentum a bit. So I think um, it was never in our minds, it was never in the gaffers' minds to come away from what we do in our league, and we give a, a good league one side a, a run for their money. And Rowan's. Um Strike was superb, and I, I said on my commentary, and I felt a bit bad afterwards. You know that he's had a few this year where he sort of miscued it or scuffed yeah. it a little bit, but he really caught that, didn't he? No, it was, it was perfect. Um, great finish from him. We've been telling him uh, to shoot a lot more in games. It's a little bit of a thing that me and him are having. He says that I shoot too much, and he <laughs> doesn't shoot enough. So I'm happy for NC today because he does so much unseen work off the ball and. Um, Maybe that's why when he gets in those positions he's a bit leggy, but it was a great strike. And um, what was the message at half time? What was the mood at half time? Uh, the same, you know. There was, I think um, we we adapted little things on the wings in terms of like where me, Jermaine, and um, Dales and Lofty were involved with each other in our twos. Um, their first goal came from us not doing that right, and they had a chance quite soon after doing the same thing so we just adjusted to that and we were better in the second half of it um, but it also gave us more of a platform to go and create chances being in the right position so it was, it was just calm at half time we knew we were we were doing all right in the game and it was just staying in it for as long as possible and taking the chances when they came but unfortunately that didn't happen two of my children were able to access coverage of the game on a stream somewhere at some hour or other and they've commented that if the overhead kick had gone in, it would have gone viral. So I mean, uh, did, uh, you you, did you catch it well? Yeah, no, I did. I think he's. I think the lads, it's come off his shoulder as he's uh, come in. So it was, it was brave from him, but um, it, it was just a bad touch, and then I had to react off it. So I can't really say that I flicked it up and tried it. But uh, oh well, another day it'll go. In. Another day it'll go. In. Yeah. And um, I guess, well, as fans, we will, but as players. Picking yourselves up for Saturday. Yeah, the gaffer said then come in um, when we're next in and be the same as we are. No disappointed heads or anything like that. Um, obviously, we'll watch the game back, and I think there is some things that we could have done better tonight. But on the whole game, I think we've done a lot of things right. So we'll just come in and get back to work. Well, I know fans will have appreciated all the effort tonight, and and. It was a 0 to 94 minute performance, just came up short. But yeah. thank you to you, thank you to the players, and we'll see you on Saturday. And the rain is now starting to fall again <laughs> as right. we finish. Give us some more rain. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Jim. Thank, thank you. you.